Hello, I'm the critic. I remembered so you don't have to. Today we're going to be talking about a Powerpuff Girls review. Not the, not the 2016 one. The good one. The original. Why? Because I just feel like it. And if you don't like it, back off. But we're talking about a band episode, and I want to get a few things out first. Number one, warning. There's a middle scene where they have flashing strobe lights, lights that flash red and yellow for five straight minutes. If you can't stand having seizures or epileptic seizures, it didn't bother me, but for those of you who are prone to those kind of things, I suggest not watching the middle at all. The middle starts right after they... They make a deal with the gnome. As soon as they make the deal with the gnome for no powers, stop watching it all completely if you can't stand epileptic seizures, if, you, if you're if you prone to epileptic seizures. Number two, it has a cunnimous message. What do I mean by this? Well, I actually looked it up. Yeah, I actually looked it up. And according to them, they said <clears throat> that it was because they were talking about I guess, in a sense, freedom that you, um, away from having to deal with problems, I guess? I didn't know. I didn't really think of it as that bad. But I can see very clearly then, see very clearly that in the said episode, why... Somebody would think like that. So, which is why I'm also saying, if you don't like those kind of things, don't watch this episode. I was completely fine, and I will say one more thing. If you can't stand singing, don't watch the episode either. Because this is a musical. All the negatives out of the way? Good. Let's talk about the positives. The positive is, it's... The first half is the best. Like, the best you can ever see. It's charming, it's nice. It's a great change of pace. And then, like, how Powerpuff Girls went. This one showed when it was still in its golden age. So when it was fresh and new and things. Now, if you ask me, I will always watch the original over the new one. Because it just worked better. And it was a lot funnier, and it made more sense. Now, with that all the way, it does have some problems. But it does have Jess Carnell, the voice of Wacko from the Animaniacs in it, as the gnome. And I will play a five-minute tune just to show you or get you an idea of what you're in for. Hold on. I can only do this for so long. There we go. There we go. Yes. So that's the kind of thing you're in for. Kind of this... Little shop of horrors this Mixture of different forms or types of music. It's not for everyone. It's not as bad as Little Shop of Horrors anyways. But it kind of works. And sorry to listen to, like, those, uh, the noises. I couldn't really get it to exactly when this, when Jess Cornell started singing. So, YouTube, if you give me a copyright strike, I am sorry. Okay? Okay. Now. Yes. 
So what was I saying? Oh, yes. The episode works because, if you ask me, it just kind of blends this idea of yes, yes, yes together. It just works. It just does. So now, how would I rate it? The first half, I would rate it 9.8. Very good. Second half, however, doesn't really fit, so I'd give it an 8.8, .8, which is bad, could be better. But if you want to take a look for yourself, I will put this song, I will put this in the comment, I will put this in the description of the video below. And also, I will put a reviewer who does the same thing, except he is able to do it down to 15 minutes. So yeah, he scrunches a lot in, but it works for what it is. So yeah, that's all for today. And I'm trying to get to those comic book things, I just don't have the time right now. But if you want any other requests, notify me. I'm the critic, and I remembered it, so you don't have to. Bye.